All right guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be doing a camera test for the Moto Z Play. I will be showcasing a couple of pictures that I took to the trip to the zoo I took last week. And I will also be showcasing the video capabilities of the Moto Z Play. Some specifications of the Moto Z Play camera. It has a rear 16 megapixel camera with an F2.0 aperture with dual LED flash. It is capable of recording 4K at 30 FPS and 1080p at 30 FPS. The front facing camera is five megapixels with an f 2.2 aperture capable of recording 1080p all right guys let's get started this next picture was shot indoors it is of a tarantula and it was shot behind the glass you can see the detail in all of the hairs of the tarantula you can see the little uh, wood under it overall the picture looks pretty good there was some lighting inside of the exhibit of the tarantula but overall it is pretty good uh, detailed colors in this picture are also very accurate it was sort of a brownish color and uh, the camera was able to pick that up partially due to the 16 megapixel camera that it has in the back Picture number two was also shot indoors. It is, it is of a just a bunch of bees behind of an exhibit, uh, behind glass exhibit. They were just uh, moving around. And as you can see, the detail level doesn't look that good, but and it kind of looks a little washed out. But overall, it is still a decent picture. Please remember that all of these pictures have been taken using the default settings on the camera. I did not mess around with any settings or any manual mode like that because an average consumer wouldn't usually mess around with the camera settings that much. This next picture is where the Moto Z Play camera really shines in close-ups. That's what I've noticed so far that because of that 16 megapixel camera, you can really see the detail when you zoom in into these pictures. It is a picture of a, I don't know, a flower, I guess. Overall, I was very pleased with the picture because the detail and the quality of the picture is really, really good. If you're taking close-ups using the Moto Z Play's camera, you're not gonna be disappointed. You're gonna be gonna have some good quality pictures. And this final picture, it is of a, again of a flower, I don't know, what type and it was a close-up this one is a really good outdoor shot and you can see the detail on the little red thing little red strands coming out of the inside of the flower and overall the lighting wasn't as good as the previous photo but the camera was able to still pick up a lot of detail and a lot of it had a nice depth uh, effect all right guys this is video number one it is an outdoor video it is of uh, me walking around showing you the goats and walking around showing how the audio and the wind picks it up and how the camera reacts to me walking and uh, filming and it was pretty cloudy outside but there was sun a little bit and those are the conditions of the video these have their horns though No, of course not. We should take her. Video number two is of me taking uh, like a pan shot of the penguins exhibit which is in the middle of like a little pond that they built for them on a rock and I'm just uh, panning from left to right and showing you guys how the camera reacts to, to the lighting conditions, the sound and everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, so next up will be video number three. It is of the Bobcat exhibit, and it is just me just showing you again how the camera performs in normal usage. If you were to take this out to the zoo, this is how the camera would perform for you. Okay, well that concludes the test of the camera on the Moto Z Play. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any suggestions as to what you guys would like to see next, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.